Yo, what up you niggas? All right, today I'm here with a new video. It's your boy Zilla, if you didn't know, the realest nigga on the internet. Today I wanna talk about this nigga Stanley. Yes, Stanley with one arm, the little bitch. Bro, what are you doing? What does it look like, nigga? I'm making a video. Uh, you know YouTube changed their terms of services? Do I look like I give a fuck about a policy? Uh, bruh, you making that video is just gonna get my channel deleted, and I'm not trying to get my channel deleted. Your channel, nigga? I'm about to make my own channel. Well, then your channel's gonna get deleted. You can't, you can't, you can't post stuff. Have you even seen half of the shit that's in here? What are you talking about? Okay, well, I'm gonna read it out, and you let me know if you did any of this in your video. Okay, listen to this. It's on harassment and bullying. They basically don't want any harassment or bullying. We want you to use YouTube without the fear of being subjected to malicious harassment in cases where harassment crosses the line into malicious attacks and can be reported and will be removed. In other cases, users may be mildly annoying or petty <laughs> and should be simply ignored. Well, I don't care about any of this shit. What does this shit have to do with my video? Okay, this is the points that I'm getting to. I'm pretty sure you have one, if not all of these in your video. Bro, just get to what you gotta get to. Abusive videos, comments, messages. Now y'all, this one-armed Stanley dude decided to make a YouTube video talking about, I'm gonna show y'all in a second, but I'm just thinking like, before we even start the video, I need y'all to go over to his video. Tell this dude to kill himself, please. Tell him to drink bleach, tell him to get cancer, cause the dude's trash, his content is trash, nobody wanna see that. I'm about to personally message him right now and tell him to jump off a bridge. Revealing someone's personal information. Stanley Bernard, lives at address 8384. Fuck Haven Lane, yes, Fuck Haven Lane. It should be Fuck Boy, cause the dude's trash, as lo along with his content. IP address 11835. Maliciously recording someone without their consent. Hey bro, what did we do the other night? What? Why are you recording? I'm, I'm not recording, I just got this camera. It's just not, it's not even on bro, I just, but what, what, what did we do last night though? Like, like what, what were we doing? I mean, we did, like you, gave me like some stuff i gave you some stuff i mean i i mean we both we both were there we both knew what we were doing but that's neither here or there uh what exactly did you do though like what what did you do well you gave me no 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 we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and go past you gave me and all that non like non fact for stuff at the end of the night what did you end up doing and then i ended i mean I did crack, I did crack, I did crack, I did crack, I ended up doing crack. You gave me crack. No, 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 no. You did crack, right? I did do crack. Only be okay. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cut that. It's fucked up, bruh. It's fucked up. Deliberately posting content in order to humiliate someone. Here he is right here. Here he is right there. Look, 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 look. Making hurtful and negative comments slash videos about another person. Now y'all, this dude Stanley somehow got sponsored by Vans. How is he going to tie his shoe and he's only got one arm? Please explain the logic. Why would you sponsor a man with one arm? Now I got nothing against people with one arms, but I got something specifically against this racist dude with one arm. Unwanted sexualization, which encompasses sexual harassment or sexual bullying in any form. Bruh, only reason I heard that he got that Vans deal was because he sucked the CEO's dick, bro. That dude's a hoe, he's a thot, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a man hoe, okay? He, he out here sucking dick just for the come up, bro. That's all he's doing, that's all he's good for, okay? That's all he's good for. The only thing that's bringing him to the top is giving other niggas top. Like, come on, bro, get out of here. Incitement to harass other users or creators. And as you see, this dude Stanley is, 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 is a bad person. He's racist. He does crack cocaine. You heard him. You heard him. He said it himself. He said it himself. He does crack cocaine. I don't know why he has this 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 whole deal with Vans. You guys need to go to Vans. Tell Vans that they need to drop this dude because he's he does drugs. He's he's a bad he's a bad he's a bad person. And also, 
go to this man's channel and just 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 tell just tell help send him l send him hate tell him to do all types of bad stuff get the bleach you know you hang yourself with a, a noose from a tree do all that types of stuff because he doesn't deserve anything that he has in life and quite frankly i don't like this nigga so uh yeah and i fuck this bitch and i fuck his mom fuck him i still don't see how my video falls under any of those categories yeah the new youtube policy changed has come into effect. I know there are I know there are some people saying, Dante, does that mean you're not gonna do any more roasts? Are you gonna stop the roast? See the difference between like the roasts that I do and the roast that like a lot of other people do is it looks like it's like hate, like it's pure hatred. And like the type of stuff that their fan base does is not even equivalent to what my fan base does whenever I release a roast. Uh, whenever I release a roast my fan base usually tends to go to anybody that was involved in the roast and tell them to watch it, tell them to watch it. They just, they're basically just telling them to watch it. Like at most they'll be like, yo, Dante just roasted you. You just took an L, you might want to check it out. Like that's it. Like they'll, they'll tell them to check it out. Cause most of the time when I do a roast, it's on reaction channels. So they'll tell them to react to it. And it's just this fun little thing with other people. Most of the time, when they make a video on somebody, they, they, their fans will go to their channel and tell them to kill themselves, tell them that they're trash, dislike their videos, leave L's, stuff like that. Uh, that's not what I'm doing. I don't make these videos to freaking hate on anybody. I don't make these, like, I don't, I'm, I'm not doing any of that. So uh, yeah, and anybody that ever takes a roast personally, then that's just on them. They they're salty and they can't handle a joke uh but that's their fault that's not really mine so um yeah they're still gonna i'm still gonna be dropping more roasts i got a roast coming up so yeah you guys don't gotta worry about me like stopping roasts it's all it's always always been in fun like i've had that's why i have those warnings in the beginning like this is all just a joke if you can't take a joke then get the fuck out i don't need you or you bitching over here like you just go do something and i also say at the end this was all jokes da, 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 da. people always wondered why why do you always say it was a joke why do you always say it was a joke because there will some people there will be there will be some people who really think i'm serious and then will fucking then this shit will happen like harassment and cyberbullying which is what i'm not doing this is all in fun i do this for pure entertainment so yeah anyway yeah if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and leave that thumbs up new roast coming soon i will catch you guys in the next one